gets overheated after being curled up in that basket for an hour. So he comes out here and hangs out with me. Every thought we think is the equivalent of a command to our subconscious, superconscious, or universal consciousness about ourself and the quality of life we create, attract, and experience. Goofy I guess I should have expected that we might record. When I put it on, I was thinking that maybe I shouldn't wear it for that reason. Hey, there you are. You're hiding from me. You're hiding from me. You wanna come? Come home now. Let's go. Hansa Yesterday we made snickerdoodles and forgot to vlog it because I guess we were really having fun and <laughs> really just forgot. I'm supposed to wake up early today and really get to work. I have a lot of my prints to finish for school and I'm just going to try to get as much done as possible. Yeah. There we go. We should just stream this on Twitch. Yeah. My allergies, I thought it was getting better, but yesterday was a bad day. I was particularly miserable. I woke up, I think I vlogged saying, I'm gonna get to work this morning. So that didn't happen. I had to sleep and lie down for most of the day. I got really dizzy from my medicine and then I just, my face was so swelled and itchy the whole time. So I inched 
towards my homework and I worked until 10 and I was watching my December daily from 2019 and seeing my hair it made me miss having curly hair as you know I barely wear my hair straight at least that's what I said because I really like textured hair but I've been lazy honestly that's like the most valid reason for why I have just had straight hair and I really just desire to suddenly curl my hair I'm taking a break from homework right now just to do something fun oh, Bambi this is the very first curling iron I ever bought The curling iron didn't quite work out. The <laughs> diameter is just a little bit too big for the length of my hair. So I instead just took out my straightening iron, which I used to curl everything inwards. Well, actually, I figure I might as well look the part. went to bed at 2 in the morning. I'm just glad that I got what I needed to done. I'm trying out for the first time ordering some of my designs to be digitally printed so that for my final presentation I can have some physical objects to document and talk about so it's not just the Photoshop file being sent to my professors. I'll see how it works out. It's kind of out of my hands now but at least I tried. I'm always afraid of my sleep schedule going into disarray because I work really hard to actually have a great sleeping schedule, you know. Also as a person, when I'm tired, I just cannot function. I'm not a nice person. <laughs> so I woke up late this morning. I tried to wake up at 7, but when I woke up, I was like, nope. So I went back to bed for an hour and a half. And now I just feel a little bit out of whack. I kind of just always do this and because the timing is off, my body subconsciously is a little bit unsure of what I'm doing. Like, am I supposed to get back to work now? What do I want to do? Because I normally have to do a little bit of an unwind in the morning. And let's start with our practice. What area would you like to work on today? Yesterday we envisioned what our life would look like. Today we'll talk about the sacrifices we have to make in order to achieve that. Position performing on stage, we need to spend thousands of hours practicing to improve our craft. That if we want to have training and sticking to a strict diet plan. Hey. That's all for your garden. That'd be nice. No, 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 it's also can. Hey, pumpkin, get down. Pumpkin. Yeah, yes. Hey, burger. Ooh. Surprise. 
guys are taking care of you. Ooh. You gonna take that? Who got this, Tyler? Huh? Thank you. Oh, my tiramisu! <laughs> <gasps> Thank you! Uh -huh. <laughs> this is my favorite. Yeah, the other four or five live action players. And random show on in the background where they construct really interesting spaces and the host is all shook that the main project designers are all artists with bachelor and masters from fine arts well, if a bunch of softy artists can do it so can i what the f you i'm staggered by what in a little over six months a bunch of academics and artists has achieved I didn't think you'd make it. Good morning and happy Friday. It's actually lunchtime, so it's the early afternoon. I spent this morning just having a slow beginning with Tyler. Did some yoga because it's been a few weeks since I did any exercise at all. I've lost quite a bit of my strength, so I'm starting doing low intensity things just to get in the habit of it and have fun while being positive with working out. You know, I never want it to be sort of like an anxious or unenjoyable thing. And then I showered, decided to get ready. So I did like a 40 minute live on Instagram and just got ready, talked about this dress, talked about makeup and what's coming next. After I graduate, I'm done with school. Things are good. Uh, this is the first time I've put on anything but pajamas, look pulled together. I've been doing my hair this whole entire week. I've been curling it. Also, you see the wall behind me. I have a new addition to my studio wall. These biographies are from Tyler's grandfather. When Tyler moved across the country, he stopped at his grandparents' house and showed you all of his biographies and his artwork, and a lot of people enjoy that. This came in the mail a couple of days ago, which was a complete surprise to me, and they're so lovely. I just love butterflies. I really look forward to the day I can finally meet him in person and learn biography. Oh. Are we gonna eat lunch? Yeah, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm so hungry, it's one. Let's do it. These are the bags I got for Grandma during Christmas. They preserve vegetables, keep them fresh. A sack of potatoes, very heavy, garlic. Already done. Wow. I have half to go. Almost looks like Jupiter when I first poured it in. I'm about to begin my ink assignment. I was just at a loss of what to draw next. Somebody on Instagram suggested to me draw a cake house. 
I, I am really excited to see that. I was meant to start an hour ago and I took out my ink well and then I thought, ooh, speaking of ink well, I've been wanting to get a glass one instead of this plastic one so I can just refill it. So I went on eBay and <laughs> literally have been on eBay for a whole hour looking at random glass antiques and then making offers, got declined on a few of them because people literally make shipping double the price of the actual tiny little thing. So, oh well. In the beginning, I was starting to learn dip pen for the technique and then doing some master copies. So it got a little bit repetitive and boring to me when a lot of the drawing and the labor was just shading. But then I feel like with this one, it's more graphic and I put more of my imagination into it. I can finally take it off. And I'm so happy with it because it is so me. I can't wait to do more. I have a couple more that I need to do that is for my homework. But obviously, I'm going to continue with dip in the future anyway. I'm really glad that I ended up taking this class instead of ceramics. Y'all know how I didn't get into ceramics. My mom was saying, in retrospect, even if you got into the class, school would have closed and you would have probably cried about that anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and look for the username on Instagram who suggested this topic and gave me the seed of the idea and if I make a print or even a sweatshirt from this, I'm gonna gift them one. There are a lot of frog requests. Hi! So what I did was I took, let's see, let me get a good frame here. Basically what I did is I duplicated a bunch of her artwork and dragged it around um, just so it sort of overlapped and looked natural. Um, it just turned out really beautiful to fly around. This is like it can move. Wow. No wonder I see some photo like uh, the hair like waving. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> fly through. So she wanted it to kind of move slow. Good. And it shows nice to I curled her hair. It's pretty. Do What what we have got in your hand? Nuts. Wow. Oh, is mama gave you my 
。本来想放到下面，忙着要搞它。忙着哦，你还在拍他们面前呀？哎呦，他们他们知道不会进来，你看他们在外面等着，他知道进来这个，要不要骂我？你看你，你看这水，你看这两只啊，但是我房间早就进来，早就进来了，他可能看我在里面
Lunchtime. I've been creating and tailoring all of my old playlists so I can have something nice to listen to while I work and this is how I motivate myself. Every time I complete a page for my final presentation, I will check one off. For me, anyway. Mm, this is good. I made it. No oh. salt. This one is no salt, but I put some sauce there. Unfortunately, all the fabrics I placed online are late by many days. My plan B is to put PDFs of the designs and make it look as best as I can for tomorrow. Quite a bittersweet end. I was procrastinating, took a little break to curl my hair, I really like it textured. This is it. I am submitting my work and I learned that our our deadline is actually tonight. So yesterday I was like, hmm, I kind of just want to go to bed. I don't want to stay up. So in the morning, I'm always the most productive in the morning. No distractions. Good to go. I've submitted everything. Really all that's left is on Thursday we'll have a face-to-face -face Zoom. I will close out this vlog now. Thank you so much for spending time with us. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will be back soon, done with school, and I guess it'll be an update of what's to come next. I'm really excited and always grateful for you. Have a great rest of your day and take care. Bye!